يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى في القرآن الكريم God Almighty says in the noble Quran Indeed God has cursed the unbelievers and prepared for them a blazing fire where they will abide forever. They will not find in it any friend nor helper. It is compulsory to believe in the existence of Jahannam. It is a place that God Almighty has prepared to torture the unbelievers. It is permanent and will never cease to exist. The unbelievers in it will never die and will never escape out of the fire and the punishment will never be eased off them. As the God, the Lord of the worlds, has informed us in his noble book, the Qur'an, and they will never get out of the fire. And he, may he be glorified, said, and its punishment will never be eased off them. So the amount of punishment that the unbeliever receives in Jahannam will never be eased off them for all eternity. It's impossible for us to imagine eternity, but here's a small example that will give you a glimpse of it. Imagine a huge desert A man then comes along and picks up one single grain of sand. Then, after a hundred years, the man comes back again and picks up another grain of sand. This goes on every one hundred years, until all the sand is gone completely. Now, imagine that all this amounts to only the first minute of the first day of eternity. A reasonable person must ask, why would God torture his creation without end? It makes no sense and serves no purpose. How can God do this when he is supposed to be the most merciful of those who show mercy, and that his mercy envelops everything? and that he is more merciful towards his creation than a mother towards her child. Is there a mother who would torture her child, no matter what he had done, even for a day, let alone forever? The God who leaves his creation in eternal torture, when he is able to end it, means he is content with their eternal torture, satisfied with their infinite torment. And if he is all-knowing and all-seeing, then that means he created billions of human beings knowing they would suffer eternal torture. This is not the God of even a small amount of mercy, let alone the most merciful of those who show mercy. And this is not the God of justice when he keeps himself hidden from his creation and then punishes them excessively for not believing in him. Some say that it is not fair that this torment be eternal. No matter how grave the sins they commit, giving eternal torment for them is so much more than they deserve. We say to them, those who will be punished and stay forever in the fire deserve it because they denied and disbelieved in God's message and then died while insisting on that, and they would have stayed as such if they had been given everlasting life. So why have this life then? Isn't the whole object of it to test mankind? To show them that the word has been proven true upon them? Isn't the whole purpose to establish that the unbelievers deserve their punishment? So if God can dispense with testing mankind after just a few years, and if his perfect knowledge is the reason for placing people in hell forever, then why not dispense with this whole charade from the start and spare us this nonsense completely and just put the people of paradise into paradise and the people of hell into hell straight away? 
if you were to say that the mind is limited and cannot understand the secrets of the unseen and that logic is confined to worldly sciences, I would reply, yes, of course, and so what? Man doesn't possess anything other than the mind. God hasn't given him the ability to know the unseen. So does man deserve eternal torture for rejecting that which is not in his power to understand? And how is one supposed to compare between the different beliefs other than with the mind? How can we examine religious claims other than with reason and logic? Just have faith. Is it a principle of Islam to believe in something even though it contradicts reason? And should we apply this principle to all religions or only Islam? Without doubt, the concept of an eternal hell is one of the most absurd and obnoxious concepts invented by man. It contradicts mercy, justice and reason completely. But unfortunately, it is a concept that preys on the minds of billions of human beings and influences their actions in a negative way. The time has come to enter the 21st century and leave the nonsense of all these religions behind us.